welcome back thanks so much for watching that chipper guy here screwing everything up so what happened was uh we loaded trucks two trucks this morning then i came and started working on this wreck and i screwed everything up and so trucks got back so i had to go back to work on that and i just figured out what the problem was just got my tools and uh here we go the first problem i had was i went to get started and it looked like it was a little low on antifreeze so i was like hey what if it's just low on antifreeze that's why i don't have no heat whatever no so i added antifreeze that didn't help and then i'm not smart so something would tell me like that would be the that would be where the thermostat would be so like i tore that off and then i'm like wait there's nothing in there um then i tore that one off look in there nothing in there that i could see and i made a couple phone calls because i felt like an idiot and uh because i've i've changed thermostats on the john deers and the cummins and they're just like this right here and you pop it off and you throw a thermostat in here um this is a little more complicated what we have i've got my tools got the book this is what we have there's not one there's not two there's three so three thermostats in this beautiful queen and made a phone call i figured out where they're at and i and i was i'm not gonna sound like a genius like i knew but i had a question they were in there so here's what we gotta do we have to see if you look down and i could see it i don't know if you all can see it or not um get you down in here no right there on the I'd be there left i could see the end of a thermostat sticking out so there's three thermostats lodged in there and to take it out we gotta take uh there's four bolts on here so we gotta pop those four bolts out take that off and of course there's nowhere to stand over here really easily and then you have your air conditioning lines all in the way so on top of all that so we got to put all this other stuff back together because i got it all messed up and uh fun fun so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the thermostats and then i'll wrap everything up that i did wrong and then we'll add some more antifreeze and should be able to go so let's see how our project goes we're back I just got the bolts out. You gotta be careful, it's a little treacherous up here. You're standing 10 foot off the ground, no big deal, but you gotta love this. You gotta love this. See my problem? I think I can get it to come out. We got the AC lines are right in the way. I don't like that. It's not helping me out a whole lot. Get her to spin. Is that one right up here in this top corner? I don't want to slip and flip. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Well, we got her out, but it was like one of them games you play where you got to figure out which way it goes. And I had to twist it all the way up but that's that and down here is this so when i opened her up there was uh thermostats falling out like crazy but one of these is stuck open i don't really care which one oh Okay, now, let's see if we can get them back in there. They should stay. They should stay like that right there. Now, should be one more that's the same. This one here, that little one's got a little casket that goes with it. And that's in the other corner. This one here, 
goes in the top corner like this and then this one goes the gas goes on the outside not the inside so I don't know how. Oh, does that go on there? Let me see here, McGee. Yeah, it goes on there. You just come in two separate parts. What's uh? Hey, you got her. Like that there. So. Put that one in there. That one will fall out. That's what she looks like. Now, you gotta put that back on there in an organized fashion. Prayers would be appreciated. I'll try to get you set up here. Okay. Okay. Pop up, but oh goodness! That one's not wanting to stay in there. Okay. There you go. flipping disaster this is why this is why people hate engineers because they engineer stuff like that but it might not be the engineer's fault who put the alien air, air conditioning lines could have tilted them out just a little bit and then you could pop it right on and off the only problem is you I don't want to do that with the air conditioning take them off and you got to refill them or you can take the whole pump off or loosen it up I don't want to do that either but this is the beginning stages. We'll see what we shall see what happens. I'm not sure how, but somehow it fell right into place that time. Not 30 seconds after I shut the camera off, pulled it out, set them back in there, and I went in at this angle. Set right in there. Maybe that's how the engineers planned it. I don't know. But it's on there, tighten her up. And here we'll start filling her up. That's all the tools you need. Right there. Those GoPro batteries just don't like this cold weather. We're up and running. We don't have any leaks that we can see. We're going to keep an eye on it. Everything looks pretty good. I had a little overspill there. When we got in our fight. But, uh, yeah, everything is high and dry. I think I need a couple more gallons of antifreeze. We got them in a the tool truck. Yeah. One of these is stuck open. Take your pick. So, fire it up. Well, we're getting temp already. That's good. We'll see what happens here in a minute. Sitting in here, let her get up to tap. We're up to 113. And I got the preheater going too. I had that going yesterday and it, it could not keep up. <laughs> Tried to work that too. Anyways, you guys tell me what you think. I got three thermostats in there. 
I've changed them on a Cummins on old timber jack. I had one. Then I changed them on them John Deere skiers and shot them have two in next to each other. And then this one has three. I don't know. It's interesting how they put all of them in there. And the only thing about three is I don't I don't I mean I'm just I'm just a normal dude. I'm not smart. Um, if one goes bad, it's kind of the whole thing's bad. So you kind of have. In my simple eyes, it's like three times more the chance of one going bad if you have three in there rather than one. Just simple man logic. Wouldn't you think? See, we could never get to 124 degrees before. Couldn't. And uh, now we're at 124. The guy told me, uh, put it in, uh, that's loader mode. You can hear the engine here. Here, make a little noise that works a little bit. He said it worked better than the saw, so it's definitely pumping her up. It looks like we're good. One of those three was bad, letting everything bypass, and I couldn't keep stuff warm. But we never had it to 130. Never had her to 130. And uh, it's getting warm in here, which is nice because it's cold outside. <laughs> it's cold outside, so this straight the back out and then I have an even here and I've said this before running these I'm running both machines so I chip and then I slash and then I chip and then I slash and then we go home and you get here in the morning you chip and then you slash and you chip and you slash and you go home and you got to get enough slashing on to get ahead for your next truck I can do it you can do it the only problem is when you have a breakdown that's your only problem is that when, when you get behind Luckily, the breakdowns of the slasher, which we can forgive ourselves. But then the chipper, then that slows us down a lot. We have to get, you obviously have to make sure that's primped and ready to go for morning. And ready to go all the time. But with this little malfunction, I didn't get to slash today. Uh, so that's the last pack. We got enough of this chipwood pine here um, to keep us going. So that's, it is what it is. But... I have, so, so anyway, so during lunch, so I've been working on this at lunch, and then I uh, worked on it after I got done chipping that last truck, so 140, that will force you would fall right in her face if I wrapped it down. I don't know why we're going blurry there. So, I mean, before, the second you rev it down, that temperature's dropping. She's not holding temp at all. She should start climbing, too. Slowly. I kicked the saw on, but I got all them. I ain't put away my tools yet. And all them tools are over here on the back of the thing, and then they're all gonna fall off and go everywhere. And we don't want to do that. Yeah, see, we're still gaining them. We did her. We did her, boys. I don't know why you're going. I'm about ready. I think I'm gonna call and get this phone switched out. I think my phone's the problem for all this garbage that's going on, uploading videos. The GoPro seems to be fine. About done with it. 144, it's warm in here, it's nice. I don't know why this thing is not, it's, now it's, it's, the camera's junking this phone. I'm over this. You pay enough money for something that should work right, this doesn't. I'm gonna go eat a sandwich because I haven't had lunch yet. Let's just keep rolling.